Hi, welcome. My name is Edwin Diaz. I'm a software and web developer. And on this small video, I want to give you a little bit of preview of one of the features that we have integrated in an application that we are creating in the course PHP for Beginners, which is hosted right now on Udemy.com and Coding Faculty. So let me show you how we use Pusher in that application and how you can also take advantage of this awesome technology. So I'm going to give you a quick introduction for Pusher and also an introduction to the feature we added for a project. So let's get started. Right here, this is the admin for the Pusher.com website or their technology. It's pretty cool. You can get a lot of data here. Uh, you can get the current connection here. So if I had a lot of connections, you can see graphs like this, okay, and even the messages. And this is just my sandbox. I can get 100 connections and 200,000 messages per day just in my sandbox, okay? Now, the concept is this. You create apps. So I'm just going to create an app right now just to show you how it works. So I'm going to click Create My App. It's going to give me a random name, but we can choose whatever name we want. I'm just going to choose Example Edwin Diaz, which is my name, of course. I'm going to choose whatever service closer to me. I'm going to choose a front end technology. I'm using JavaScript. You can use jQuery, Android, AngularJS, whatever you want that's available here. And back end technology, I'm choosing PHP. You can choose Node.js, .NET, Java, whatever you want. I'm going to click create my app. And now we have a boilerplate to work with. So right out of the box, you can just copy and paste this code. And of course, make sure that you download your package uh, for your backend technology. Once you copy and paste this, you can start seeing how Pusher works. Okay, so we link it to a JavaScript library, a Pusher library that's hosted in their website. That's really convenient. And we start playing around with it by creating a new instance of Pusher, passing our credentials here, subscribing to a channel binding an event to that channel and receiving some data from the back end. Here we download the pusher package using Composer. It's a package manager for PHP. We require Composer, which in turn is going to have the pusher package there. So basically we are requiring pusher. We create some options. We instantiate pusher. We create this new instance. We are credentials, a secret key, the public key, the secret and the app ID and the options for our for parameter. Then here we, you know, we can use whatever data we want, but we have this example here and we use this method here, trigger, to pass in the channel that we are subscribing in our JavaScript side, the event that we are triggering, in this case it's called my event, which are, we are binding right here, and we're passing in some data. So let's say, for example, you have a registration page in your PHP side, and before you redirect the user to another page, you can just use this trigger event here, this trigger method. And this is exactly what we did in our application. Let me show you. So we created a CMS system in our PHP for beginners, uh, become a master in codingfaculty.com or udemy.com. You can find this course. So here, every time a user is registered, we get a notification in the admin. So this is the admin for CMS. And I just got two screens here just to show you. It's the same um, project, the same application, OK? So I'm going to go to registration. I'm going to register some random user. I'm going to call this guy Pusher, like this, Pusher, and Pusher at um, coding faculty dot com and I'm just gonna choose a random password I'm gonna click register and you're gonna see we get a little notification he here saying that we have a new user and that's the idea register and voila you see this pusher just register now you can use this type of technology to give the user a really cool real-time data visualization you can update any of this. This is dynamic data, by the way. You can update data right in front of the eyes, just like we did here with a little notification. So there you have it, guys. This is how we use Pusher to create real-time notifications. Take care.